In this tutorial, you will learn about face detection using Har Cascade. It is a machine learning based approach where we have set of positive and negative images that are used to train a classifier. Positive images are images which we want our classifier to identify and negative images are of image of everything else which do not contain the object we want to detect. So we are going to use three images here and we will try this algorithm hard cascade one by one on each of these three images. Let's import CV2, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt percentage matplotlib inline. Now I am going to read all the three images one by one. I will make one variable image and then from CV2 I will call imread and inside this I will pass my first image name which is butterfly.jpg and then I am going to convert this in image from BGR to RGB and then here I will call cv2 dot cvt color and then inside this I will pass image variable and then color and before this I have to call here cv2 dot color underscore BGR to RGB and similarly I will do for other image so I will just copy this two times this is going to be my second image and this is going to be third now let's change the variable name this is going to be image one and this will be butterfly one and here also this is image one and this will be image one and this I will name as group and then here I will write here group one and here I will have another image Beatrice and then here I will have group image group 1 and then I will write here group and here also group now let us execute our code let's print this image one by one plt dot im show then first image and then I'll copy it and let us print it so this is our first image and we are going to detect face in this image then let's plot our second image and this is going to be our second image here also we are going to detect our face and the difference between the two images in this image uh, this girl is wearing a hat so this is a different kind of image for us and the third one is group of people and here in the output you will see we have image where we have group of people and we are going to detect each of this uh, face from these group of people so now we will import the har cascade classifier and save it in a variable and then we will use that variable to call function to do the face detection so i will make one variable face underscore detection and then I will call here cv2 dot cascade classifier and then here I have to pass the har cascade pre-trained model and that is already installed in my system and it will be also available in your system if you have installed OpenCV for that you just have to search here and you can write here uh, let's say we will write here har cascade 
so you see here in this location you will be having this file so I will just open this file location we will use this one frontal face default I will click here and then just I will copy its location so I will click here copy as path and then I will paste it here in quotes and one thing is that okay you don't have to write quotes here because it will already have quotes and the one thing that you have to do is you have to change these slashes so you see that you have this black a uh, backslash here but you need to change it and then change its direction like this like this for all this slash now let us execute our code okay so now we have this here in this uh, face detection object here now we are going to create one user defined function that we will use to identify these faces or detect these faces i will write here define face underscore detection and this will take image as an input and then it will create a copy of this image so i will write here face underscore image and then image dot copy then it will make one more valuable face underscore rex and then here we will call this face detection so i will call this face detection here face underscore detection and then from this i will call the method detect multi scale and then for x y so these are nothing but the height and width w h in face underscore rex so here we are detecting our face and then saving in this object face underscore rex and then we are calling for loop on this height and width and then we are just going to adjust it so i will write here cv2 dot rectangle so once we have detected face we are going to create a bounding box like rectangle so that is what here we are defining on our face image and then on x and y then x plus y then x plus width and then y plus width and then we will give our color for this rectangle so this is r is 0 g green is 255 and blue is 0 that means our rectangle will be of green color and then its width is going to be 10 that is how dark we want and then we will return our image return face underscore image now let's call this function face detection on our image first image and then save it in a variable result uh, so it says some error we got error here function object has no attribute detect multi scale because we forget to pass this image here that the image we have created a copy of face underscore image now, now let's call this function face detection and in this we will pass our way image that is image and then we are going to save the result in the variable result and then we are going to print it first let's call this 
and now let's print plt dot im show result and here in the output you can see that our function has detected a face in this image very clearly now let's try this on our second image so i'm just going to copy this function of this line of code here i will write result one and then here image one and then plt dot im show result one and here in the output we can see that it has detected face in the image but we also see that it has made many uh, wrong detection here it is also detecting some part of this uh, face here here and here as well that is why we see this uh, rectangle here but this this is incorrect uh, and we need to fix it we will fix it first let's also check on our group of people so i will just copy this from here and then paste it here and this time i will take result 2 and then this is going to be image 2 not image 2 here i will take group and here i will write result 2 and here in the output uh, we can see that it has detected image correctly i would say 95 percent because here also it has made one uh, wrong detection here it is detecting some features of face here as well that is why it has made this rectangle so we see that out of these three pictures it was able to detect image in our first image of butterfly correctly but for batteries and our group image it has made some wrong detection as well now let's fix it and for that I am just going to copy this function and paste it here and inside this function now I am going to pass two parameters and the first parameter is going to be scale factor and I am going to give some value let's say 1.2 and the second parameter is going to be minimum neighbors. and let's say this is going to be 5 so you can read about these two parameters here so what these two parameters does so if I scroll down here So here you will see parameter scale factor it is about parameter specifying how much the image size is reduced at each, uh, at each image scale so this parameter will reduce our image size at each scale and then the next parameter is neighbors and this parameter is specifying how many neighbors each candidate rectangle should have so how many uh images should be there in the neighborhoods so that the rectangle will identify whether this image has a face or not so these are the two parameters that we are <coughs> that we need in order to uh, make our predictions or make make our detection accurate so here i am giving value 1.2 and here i am giving value 5 now let us execute this code and now let us again call these images one by one so i will copy it from here and then i will paste it here and this time we should have a good result uh, so we see some error here scale factor it says is invalid okay let me just check the <coughs> correct name for this scale factor uh, so here it should be small now let us try again uh, no it is still not detecting let me just check again so okay s should be small and f should be in capital 
so you can see here I'll show you here you will see this is scale factor and then here we have this one is correct let us execute our code and now let's see in the output okay great so now we see that it has detected our image accurately if we compare it with the earlier one you will see here there were a lot of rectangles and it was identified incorrectly but after passing these two parameters now it has detected very correctly i would say very accurately now let's do the same for group of images so if i call it here and let's see in the output so here also we can see that it has detected all the images correctly 100 percent if i compare it with earlier one this was a wrong detection and now it has been fixed in this one so whenever you see that your detections are not going well you have to play around with these two parameters and you have to also play with these two values these two values can be different for your use case but this should fix your problem as well so this is how you can do face detection using har casket algorithm i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching